Now I forgot one. Hello, I'm Stephen Lee Mason and welcome to my random Arrow video. Yes, Arrow video. Yeah, I don't really know what happened today. Today's been quite random. Now I'm going to do this video fast forward style, which means I jump around a lot. Now I'm a big fan of Arrow and recently I got the house box set, bottom corner right there. I did an unboxing, that was for my girlfriend Annie. It's an amazing, beautiful box set. Now get rid of that. Now I got Annie that and Phantasm was coming out now. I think I've just said that right. I do apologise if I butchered it. It's quite a mouthful, Phantasm. Now I have some of the Phantasms on video. Good old VHS. Jambo Shango, that's his name. I need to call him Papa Shango. So a few people have done unboxings of the Phantasm box set. Let's get, well, you know, kind of missed my opportunity there doing unboxing, didn't I? Plus when the first came in at work, I only had two and I thought it was going to be a limited run. So I sort of gave up on it. Then I thought my girlfriend's birthday is coming up. Now I do apologise if this is the first video you've seen him or anything. Where is this guy from? What spaceship did he fall out of? It wasn't this spaceship. To be honest with you, I don't even think my own mother knows where I come from. Now I've always been a big fan of Arrow from Steelbooks and the re-editions they bring out. They have the flip covers, it's awesome. They restore them all, they give them all the treatment they need. They pretty much robbed Joe Dante's house for the Burbs. So the Burbs came out, standard edition, only the trailer on. Wow, I bought that just because I did that. Then there's the Arrow version with a new custom art cover on the back. Loads and loads of extras restored. Inside is a flip cover. And then Steelbook is absolutely gorgeous. With the Clopex car on the back full of skulls. Inside was a little disappointing as it's only got Walter and Queenie inside. But they did a cracking job. And the other Arrow film I'm really pleased with. Uh, how do I put this? Boo. Oh. Really? Really? I want to join this Arrow. So the day was a bit crazy. Now that is the Phantasm box set. That is a 70 pound box set. Now this is meant to be for my girlfriend Ali for her birthday in a couple of weeks. And I've been told I can unbox it, which I'm going to do at the end of this video. Because I went a little bit crazy today. Just a little bit crazy. Now HMV have a multi-buyer offer on starting today for Arrow Blu-rays. 5 for 30 or 3 for 20. There's a couple of editions of DVDs and different offers as well. But the main one is the Blu-rays. So I went a little bit crazy. The first one today, King of New York starring Christopher Walken and Wesley Snipes in a really young role. Where Scarface left off, the King of New York begins. Okay. I did enjoy this. Now this does hopefully have a flip cover. And with alternately having a flip cover, every time the cover flips, so will I. So this is the alternative cover angle where I've got my claw hammer. I'm going to wick through them, open them up and see what the alternative covers are. I wasn't joking about using the claw hammer to open stuff. It's my weapon at the moment. King of New York's alternative cover is more of the original cover. Christopher Walton has been established quite a lot over the years on the cover. In a very similar way. But I do like the cover Arrow's rocking out. It obviously has a lot more of the cast on blended together. So I'm sticking with that one. Next up, Inferno. Never seen it. Tagline on the back in weird like Blackbeard writing is after Sabrina the teenage. No, man. Supreme, I don't even know what that is. Sorry about the sexies just kicked in. Comes Inferno, so Inferno. Inferno's cover is a lot different. It's like a skull meets a half a woman's face with some kind of blood dripping out. I almost was a little snail or a little worm there. I do like that cover a bit more. It's a lot more ooby. What the hell is ooby? So yeah, I like that one better. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. I'm sorry, I didn't realise. I didn't realise. Microwave Massacre. Tagline on the back for this one is they came for dinner to find they were it. This one is Microwave Massacre and has a bit more of a dark cover going on there. This has got the guy looking in there, looking to cook her head. A bit more eerie. I think the, the flip cover's better. This one's the actual double disc and it comes with a magazine inside. Little booklet, sorry. But yeah, that's pretty awesome. Next up, it's not handy, it's there. It's underneath Fortress, it's right there is Maniac Cop. You have the right to remain silent forever. Maniac Cop does rock a little bit better of a cover taking away the fact that Bruce Campbell is merging at the front of it where there's just a guy holding out his badge in the darkness of the night, the shadow of the night. I do think though that that, which is more iconic to its original VHS cover, should have been on the disc. Disc. Wait, well, it's on the disc, sorry. <laughs> Normally when I do fast forward reviews I've got a script, but in this case I've just got to wing it. Totally wing it. Next up, tribute to the late great Wes Craven. This is Deadly Blessings. Ooh, they dropped that one. Tagline should have been on the back of the box. They built one. Well, because well, that's what just happened there. Tagline on the back of the box is they built a barn from your bones. Next up is Deadly Blessing. Now this looks a bit familiar. I've seen this before. Now this is Wes Craven's. I do like the other cover. It's the reason why I bought this. 
It kind of looks like a Nightmare on Elm Street, doesn't it? The old head, the hand coming around the back. I don't know what's going on with this movie, but I'll be checking it out. Next up is Life Force, Toby Hooper film, and um, this absolutely amazing movie shot in Britain. If you don't know who Oliver Harper is, check his stuff out. He did an amazing review of this. This has been restored brilliantly. Tagline on the back of the box of this one is, in a blink of an eye, the terror begins. Hey, dragon, doggy, doggy, doggy. Whoa, 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 I'm sorry about the clown. <laughs> I'm really sorry about the clown. Life Force cover is a little bit disappointing to me personally, but it's based on where the astronauts fly into the ship at the start of the movie and find the vampires encased in the glass cubicles. Cubicles were pubicles. Did I really just say that? Oh my god. But I do think the other cover is better. Next up is another Toby Hooper film, and uh, I hope this is a crocodile film since I'm holding a crocodile in my hand. This is Eaten Alive. Tagline on the back is Meet the Maniac and his friend. Hey! Not you! What's going on? Get away! Eaten Alive rocks out an amazing alternative cover in my personal opinion. This totally makes sense to the tagline which is on the back. The Meet the Maniac and his friends. And it's a crazy guy flying around a sickle with a crocodile leeching out. So that looks absolutely mint. I told you I went a bit crazy. I do apologise. The next one is Return of the Killer Tomatoes. So I missed another tagline. What's the tagline? The tagline is... The Vegetables of Doom. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> vegetables of Doom. <laughs> Return of the Killer Tomatoes actually packs a better cover as well where it has the crazy angry um, tomato. That's the one on the front cover, which is quite iconic. I mean, I remember the TV show in school. I mean, I think this is the one with George Clooney and God bless his soul. Well, he hasn't died yet, but I don't know why I've just said that. He's done well for himself since this, hasn't he? So, anyway, get off the cleaning rand. But yeah, that's a far better cover. Yeah, we'll keep that cover. Next up is one of Arrow's newer releases. Now, it's a bit weird because Matinee, Joe Dante's movie, hasn't gone into this other, and that's like newer than this. Donnie Darko, starring Jake Gyllenhaal. Thanks, Annie, for that, for my birthday. Tagline on the back of Donnie Darko is I want you to watch the movie screen this summer and I want to show you. Donnie Darko is the only one that actually comes with a slipcase which is pretty sweet. And its alternative cover is the iconic montage on Cross Frank's face. Where it's got uh, Jake Gyllenhaal there, Patrick Swayze all blended in with Drew Barrymore to make up the bunny rabbit face. Next up we're still going zombie flesh eaters. Tagline on the back of this one is, they will rise to suck the blood of the living. Zombie Flesh Eat, this has a far better cover in my opinion as well, where it's just got the hand coming out with some kind of just weird, like it looks like a coffee stain more on the sun rising there, doesn't it? It looks like my hat. You know, my hat, I don't know why I said such aggression. Anyway, but yeah, that's a nice little cover for the front cover. One thing I haven't pointed out so far, the alternative flip covers of Arrow stuff don't come with the age written on the front. Next up, one that came highly recommended by the movie stuff guy, Paul Rail, the movie pop guy, I forget, what, what does he call himself? This guy right here, Holden, the Killer Clowns steelbook. He's the movie pop guy on this, he's the movie pop guy. Highly recommended, Night of the Comet. It was the last thing on earth they expected. This is the last thing people clicking on an Arrow video expected, that's for sure. Night of the Comet's flip cover is all the cast looking up in the sky with like a doorway and like space going on there. The original cover is far better one like that's rocking. Next up, starring the late great Riley Riley Piper. Hell comes to Frogtown. Ribbit, ribbit. Tagline on the back is a new breed of enemy has taken over the world. Sam Hell has come to take it back. Hell Comes to Frogtown has a better cover as well, getting away from the cartoon factor, which honestly, Roddy Piper looks like he's just fell off the lair live, the Thomas Hodge cover, dude designs, but this one's got the cast looking at some frog people that look more like, ooh, they're creepy little frog people, I'm looking forward to this film. Next up is a classic movie, and I'm glad they've got away from the Hunger Game themes they put on this horrible DVD, it's Battle Royale. And this is the director's cut I haven't seen. I've seen this once and I'm happy to say I've seen this with J.J. Perry and Jonathan Frank and Nick Roundtree in Bulgaria 10 years ago. Wow, lifetime ago. So I'm looking forward to re-watching that because when I watched it I was like, wow, this is a dark film. Tagline on the back is one dead, 41 to go. Flip cover, it looks amazing actually. The Battle Royale cover where it's got all the cast of the pictures, like the school photos and all the Japanese writing going across the special edition. And yeah, it's a pretty dark, brutal film. Now. I do like that cover. That's a lot better, it's a lot more creepier. And finally, part of my arrow craze here. The last movie I got to see last year at the Scream Demons Film Festival. Yeah. Yeah. I went to see Friday the 13th, 
Society. This has a horrible cover, <laughs> front cover. It's better than the last cover on DVD where the guy's face was coming out of someone's butt. And I actually went to see this with Annie and I was dressed as the clown. Can't we see Friday the 13th? Friday the 13th, part four. Part four. It's pictures. This was all well before the clown craze last year. Well before. Society does have an alternative cover where the woman's pulling off a face, which is quite an iconic version. It is quite a shame that the butt face is not on there. It could have been on the disc, but yeah, the butt face is a bit traumatising. But at least Society has a flip cover. Now there is two other Blu-rays I did get today, I totally went a bit nuts. There's the Mummy, which is for Annie, which is a 3-disc set. Peter Cushion and Christopher Lee. And Thomas Hodge in the corner there with Hobo with Shotgun and they live. It's done some amazing artwork and this is the one missing from my collection. This is Wolf Cop. Here comes the fuzz. Wolf Cop does not have one. Shame. But I've seen a mint steel book online, but that is part of my collection now for them. Now if it's anything to go by Hobo with Shotgun, this film will be absolutely nuts. Okay, this is a Phantasm box set. Now I'm going to sit down on the floor and try and unbox this properly, so I'm going to change the angle up a bit. Okay, this is the Phantasm box set. I'll keep calling it Phantasm. I hope it's called Phantasm. Now this contains all five movies, and the last movie was made in 2016. The original movie's from um, 1979. Okay, I said before that I would sit down on the ground and cast a shadow on my face while I was trying to do an unboxing of this, but because of King Kong and... Uh, Got that to do with an unboxing of next. I'm uh, struggling for space at the moment, so I might go back to the old way. Okay, I was just faffing around on the floor, then I stood up, I did a little bit of a rant. I picked up the claw hammer and went, Well, should I open it on camera with claw hammer? And I went, No. So I have actually unpackaged it, and I thought I was recording. I've been filming so many different angles, sorry, I do apologise. Anyway, there has a lovely print around the box, and I'm guessing it opens like this. I'm just guessing. Wow! Hello, it's me. Check that out. That's pretty cool, isn't it? You can see the reflection of the ball. I quite like that. It's awesome. Now the lid comes off. I'm going to put that to the side. I'm going to put it facing up so that it doesn't get marked on the top. Now that is pretty cool. That is proper mental. Absolutely mental. This needs to be a jump cut. This is just freaking me out, this thing. Look at this thing. It's like, whoa, crazy ball. Yeah, me looking in there. there that's absolutely mental. But that is a bit like just a Christmas decoration, like a Christmas ball. But yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty light, ornament, maybe, yeah. This is freaking me out, this thing. Hold that, Whiskers. So Whiskers is a baboon over there. My Mandarin baboon is going to hold that. I've got a thing for baboons. Okay, at the back there is a book, and wow, it's, well, it's a heavy book, that. Now this is a pretty big book. Takes you through all the films, lots of nice stills. A lot of stills, actually. Alternative artwork. So yeah, that is pretty awesome, pretty thick. That is the artwork on the VHS I've got of number two. I do not know. I've got a few of them. I'm not sure where they are though. That stuff. Oh. 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 Sorry, I have a proper phobia about that spongy stuff. Oh, it gets us every time. It goes right through us. Oh. So if you can see there, these are pretty weird. These are not like, these are more like Digipack CDs. They are like Digipack CDs, wow! So the first one has the old man on it with the ball. And the disc is pretty plain, there's the grey um, graveyard there, a couple of silhouettes and the shadow of someone's face. The second one has a hand, a red hand, a red right hand, holding the phantasm ball. And very, whoa, same cover inside. It's a bit air, uh, didn't realise that. Third one has an eye on it, it's looking at us. Has an eye on Lord of the Dead. And I'll be sticking with tradition. Yeah, grey and a red silhouette. Shadows in it. This is not what I was expecting. Number four, Oblivion. Which is, uh, it's got like a saw blade. Certainly saw blade going on in the ball. Sort of sparkles in the sky as well. Phantasm four. And yeah, grey and red. Wow, what's going on? Next up we have Phantasm five. Going to sort of the rage, I want to say the rage. Uh, a bit more going on there, it's got a bit like a Mad Max uh, gas mask going on the guy's face. The car on the front there, and yeah, it's rocking the same thing on each one. So that's pretty weird. Now, the bonus disc hiding at the back here, um, it says Van has a bonus disc, has a cloth over the, the ball's head. But yeah, now hopefully. 
Let's go to the box. Let's go back in the box. <laughs> So hopefully Annie does like that and enjoys the films. I will be watching the films along with Annie, along with the house films, along with all them. And I will be bringing a lot of arrows in the fast forward reviews. Now Annie did a review for The Burbs, it's one of her first ones. Killer Clowns has been back on the cards to revisit that film. But as I watch the films I bought today, I will be writing reviews for fast forward reviews. So if you like what you've seen today with me jumping around like an idiot, check out fast forward reviews. And definitely check out the Arrow promotion, definitely at HMV at the moment. The quality for the price is amazing. The Phantasm is a really nice box set. It's well made, well constructed. Of the ball, which is absolutely mint. That is just freaking me out with that thing. I can see myself. Phantasm. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely recommend checking out all the Arrow Blu-rays available. That is the uh, Society cover I was on about. With the guy's face coming out with someone's butt. I'm so grateful the light is fixed as well. Wasn't on the arrow video, but I do apologise. It was a little bit dark. Hey, oh, check sorry. these out. I've been Whoa. buying these. Whoa, what's going on? What do you mean, what are you doing? What are you doing? I made the series. What are you doing buying? Hey, some arrow DVDs and Blu-rays. I just bought them on the arrow videos. Well, I bought Blu-rays, so what are you saying? Yes, I know the Blu-rays. Arrow videos. Oh, right, right. Arrow video. video. Got you. Hi. Awesome, aren't they? Got loads. Wow. Check them out. Great. So that's like, how many arrow films is that now? I don't know. 30, One, two, three. 35. I've lost 35? Them. How many did you buy? Well, oh, Phantasm really box set. Kind of personality. Is that the one with the Christmas ball in? <laughs> anyway, it's awesome, isn't it? What's that? Oh, this. Wolf Cop, Steelbook. Wolf Cop, that. Tom Steelbook. Steelbook. Really? Yeah. Bought Wolf Cop as well. Oh, what? Oh, Seriously, I'm man. We have to do a review for it now, though. I haven't seen it before. I do apologise. Why are you apologising? I'm in Steve Monkey Mason. I am Steve Monkey Mason. Okay. Well, seven days, isn't it? Like, seven Check days. out the rest of my videos. Give us a like I'm and subscribe. Here. Welcome to the world. Awesome watch. Lonely Tree Entertainment. It's a bit baffling. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. You're an idiot. Yes, I know. Yes. I just like to see Adriac. He's got. Get a hold of yourself. This is the very, very end of the video. Whoa, this really is really creepy and weird. Goodbye.